What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at the brand new survey that Konami have put out for the eFootball 2024 game feature improvement survey. I will drop a link in the description below of this video so after you watch this and we go through it you can guys can fill it out yourselves. I'll leave the link in the description below. So firstly they're just going to ask you a couple of very generic questions. What platform you play on, how many matches you've played, and obviously a couple of other bits and pieces here as well um, that they're going to ask you where you play your games, whatever, your personal space. They have different ones at pubs and bars, fast food restaurants, cafes. Obviously, they're taking mobile into consideration here as well for commuting and stuff like that. So obviously, a lot of this isn't going to, you know, really um, kind of like be for console players because obviously you're going to be playing your console at home, you would say, most, most often than not, right? Now, they do talk about a couple of bits and pieces here. I'm going to go through this. We're going to talk about Master League. We're going to talk about Career Mode. And we're just going to fill out the survey and talk about this because ugh, there are some questions, man, that are just not, they're too generic. This is the problem I have with this survey, right? There are some questions that just do not go far enough or they don't ask the right question, right? And I'll get into that in a second, right? But they ask you firstly about user matches. You're interested in users' matches and play them often. You're interested in user matches, but you don't play them often. So this is PvP, playing against other opponents. I'm not interested in user matches, so I don't play them, but I play them sometimes, but I'm not interested, right? So for me, I do play them often. I am interested in the user versus user experience and PvP. That's kind of mostly what I play because there's no offline mode. So it's kind of a silly question, really. You're not going to sit there and play my league for longer than a couple of hours. There's just no way. There isn't enough depth in it. Um... And then they ask you about, is there anything you don't like about user matches? But the, the, the answers to this, right, it says that you're allowed to pick three. Honestly, I mean, some of, the, some of the responses in this, I honestly just don't know why it's even an option. Like, for example, I don't like playing against strangers. Opponents are too good, so I lose a lot. Or opponents aren't good, so it's too easy to win. I feel like that could have been really kind of like streamlined as to like, right... What do you like about user matches? The, you know, the connection, this, that. There's a couple of like mismatch uh, answers to this, right? It says that you're often matched. Like these are more specific, right? Like I don't like playing against strangers versus an option of I'm often matched with opponents way above my collective strength. There are two completely different things, right? Because if you're going on and you're playing with a road to glory or you're playing with a free to play account and you've got a collective strength of like 2,800 and you want to play with all three or four star players to set yourself a challenge you are going to come up against epic squads from Division 6 upwards. There's just no doubt about it. It doesn't matter how good the opponent you're playing is. You are going to come up against guys that just have god squads because the game is out so long. So I do feel like with these questions that they're asking here, they needed to hone in on this a little bit more and not just have a generic, what don't you like about online? It needs to be, what don't you like about online gameplay? What don't you like about online network connectivity? What don't you like about online how the user experience is, how, you know, the difficulty, the matchmaking, the filter system. It's very, very, very broad strokes and very generic. And I don't know how they're going to, you know, glean a lot of information from this because I presume everyone's going to have pretty much the same ideas of what they'd like, but sometimes the option isn't there. So for me, right, it just, you're just after answering there that you've played this and then it says, I've never played an online user match. I see no need for it. I prefer against AI. That's fine. But that again, that is a completely separate to what they're asking you here. And I said, I don't want to dig this out, man. I can see what they're trying to do with it. Um, but for me, I'm going to say too much lag. The input lag is still a huge issue. Sometimes it's horrendous that so you literally press and X, press and shoot, press and pass. The animations don't click in. It's not network lag where the screen is tearing or your, you know, your ping is all over the place. It's literally just when your, you know, input delay is there. And you guys will know what I'm talking about, right? I don't have an issue with the connection in the game. The connection in eFootball has been vastly improved since the PES days. I played a lot of PES 2018, 19, 20, and there was so much cheating in it. There was so much disconnects. There was so much everything gone on in it. In fairness, if somebody voids the match now or they try to, you will get the win. So I think that they have improved the networking code, but it's just the input delay is the big thing for me, right? I lose, opponents commit fouls the whole time. That is another issue, I think, with the shoulder charge. Again, that's kind of something similar to me. I swear to God, lads, I get so triggered when people foul, right? I'm going to have a match, a video up soon of how people that are top rank a lot of them play, man. And it's not against people that are top ranked. There's some unbelievably talented, you know, fair playing beasts that play top 250. But some people to actually, you know, get a win, 
It's literally fouling or shoulder charging every single time they get caught in the counter to stop the break. And there's no punishment off the refs. So I would say that that's a huge thing as well. But again, it's more so about the AI and it's up to the game to police them rather than the opponents police themselves. Because some people just want to win at all costs, right? Um, this is also something as well that I would say opponents deliberately make the connection lag. I know that some people have had that issue on mobile, but I don't play on mobile too much. I will be in the future. But I can't really talk about this too much because it's only what's affected me. Um, I don't think anything else, man, really needs to be talked about. Like the connection is 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 nice. Um, matchmaking takes too long. That's been pretty easy. It seems like it's too easy to cheat. Uh, the connection with opponents. I lose even when the connection opponents the, on the opponents ends drop. Opponents imply time wasting tactics. Fruit, refuse to play your matches. Deliberately make. I mean, it's hard to know, man. It's hard to know. I would say that from an objective point of view, if you are losing the match 2-0, people will just tap out. And yes, it can be nice, but sometimes you just want to test things out. So I will say that one as well. What do you think about co-op? I'm interested in co-op, but I don't play it often. The reason being that I don't play it often, being 100% legit with you, is because it's too slow, man. It's too slow. It takes you about 15 minutes to set up a match, get a match going. Then people are pausing. They're like Jose Mourinho inside in the substitutions and the formations. They're, you know, they're, they're spending 15 minutes doing their team, getting everything done between half time at the start of the match, and then they lose and they tap out. So that is why I'm not really playing co-op at the moment, but I do think the promise of it is huge. Is there anything you don't like about co-op? I see no need for co-op. I don't like playing with other people. Uh, it's difficult to play at the same times. So there's no system for casually playing. There are no co-op events. I would say too much input lag as well. Um, and I would say, yeah, I'm not satisfied with the, with the way the ratings is done as well. I'm going to go on through that. Is there anything you don't like about Dream Team? Again, this is not split into gameplay, UI, user experience, nothing. It is literally just one with like a couple of mismatches here, right? So for example, they talk about I don't have enough skill trainer programs, but they don't have an option for I don't like that the skill trainers are random. Do you get me? So it's kind of hard to judge where exactly that they're going to go. And obviously from the thumbnail in this video, you would also have seen there is literally been no mention of Master League or Offline mode yet. And spoiler alert, there isn't going to be. And we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just going to say here with this, is there anything you don't like about Dream Team? I would say that there's just, I know a lot of people have said this, that there's too much going on. It seems too complicated. There's no objectives to keep me playing. I get highly skilled players too quickly. Yes. Uh, and that's from somebody that buys cards. I would love to gradually build up a team, but there is literally no point in doing it. There is no reward in doing it. You're coming up against God Squad after God Squad after God Squad. And I would also say, um, this is an option. I can't win without spending money or with spending money. I mean, again, some people will believe that and some people have that, uh, you know, that it, it is, man. There is no benefit to playing with a lower ranked team. If you've got Ribery and Ronaldo and Romario and Messi on the bench, why would you play standard Lewandowski up front when you know that you're going to be screwed because your opponents are going to have unbelievable squads, right? Um, and I would say that. There's nothing to do since all the players are on the team. The team is complete. They are getting rid of contract renewal, so that won't be an issue. And the rest of it, the skill contracts and all that, I think that they will change them. So we'll go with that. How would the commentary analysis be improved? I turn off the commentary and the analysis. Um, so I would just say I'd like the commentator to be more interesting but that's not something and more variation and more teams that's not something that i really focus on too much because i stream i don't have any music on i don't have any commentary on so it's it, it doesn't bother me whatsoever which of the following applies to the goal celebrations that play when you score a goal i always watch them. I, I sometimes watch them which of the following applies to the goal celebrations that play i'm slightly interested in them i'm very interested in them because i want to see and i want to let somebody have the option to watch a replay you should get two non-skippable replays per game, but again, there's nowhere to say that. Now, this is going to be the bulk of the, the, the survey here, right? We've 80% of the survey. Again, we have literally no mention of Master League or offline modes apart from this. This is the only mention of an offline game mode. We've had no mention of edit mode. That's going to come in a second, but we've had no mention of Master League, career mode, offline mode, you know, older PES stuff. Um, now, for this here, right? I'm going to be extremely harsh here, even though some of these things don't bother me, right? I would say that the stadium and the player graphics during matches is probably at a two, which is what I'm somewhat dissatisfied. I still think that up close, that kind of pulls it back a little bit because I do feel that the graphics need to vastly improve. We're in 2024. I know that there's 11 players on each squad. 
that are going to be, you know, 22 players plus the ref and all the animations and all that. But they really need to push Unreal and they need to push the engine that they're using for the gameplay a lot more. Especially when there isn't a real physics engine in the game and the grass and all the textures and stuff like that need to change massively, right? Menu and screen design, I think that's really poor at the moment. It's too clunky, it's too slow, there's too complicated going on in it. As I said, I'm trying to be very critical here to say like this is really what I want to see fixed. Depths of tutorial and training for getting ahead, I'd say that's somewhat neutral on that. Ease of learning match controls, very simple. Weekly updates of player list and player conditions, live update. Again, I think they do a good job with that, to be honest with you, from the data. Types of offline game modes. I mean, that is basically non-existent. I mean, who's going to sit there and play My League with its current uh, way that it is? Now, I do think My League will improve over the next couple of weeks and months with eFootball, um, but we have to wait to see. So I'm only judging what it is. And the types of online modes. Again, I'm neutral to that. I would be a hypocrite if I absolutely destroyed that or gave it any high praise because I have my issues with the game, but still my 15 to 16 hours of creating content and streaming every week, I do have fun 90% of the time. And when I don't have fun, it's more about the actual experience rather than the actual game mode of Dream Team. Because I do like Dream Team. I like scoring goals. I like playing different formations. I like using Collar and the boys. It's fun, you know, for what I choose to play. Accuracy and clarity of the test. Again, I'm neutral to towards that. Overall impression of in-game music. I mean, I have no input on that because I turn off all the music. Satisfaction with the overall product. Now, this is actually a difficult one. I would probably say I'm like neutral on it. But then I'm kind of thinking like, I do play this game quite a lot. It's my main game that I play. I do content on it. I have a different kind of viewpoint on it compared to me just sitting there, you know, playing it for entertainment-based purposes. Rather than, you know, I'm actually really involved in eFootball. I stream, I create content, I spend a lot of my game and hours playing eFootball. I'm not playing any other game at the moment. Um, so that is a hard question to answer, I suppose, in terms of the overall product, right? Because I'm not happy with where it could be. But I don't think that we'll ever be fully happy because the game is all subjective to you, right? So I do feel like that there are some of these things here that they talk about. I am happy enough that they do talk about editing teams and strips. That's going to be two there, 100% that I go for. The rest of the stuff that they talk about here, there's no mention of Master League, man. Like, there is literally no mention of Master League, right? And I, I, I can't understand it because I do feel like they need to have a career mode coming. I don't know why they're not pushing that a little bit more. People will say, well, Barry, you know that they're not going to push it because, you know, they want to keep the online. You can have both, man. You can have both. You can have a lot of offline career mode content there and people will still spin coins. Once you find a way to be able to establish the two different game modes, it's like Warzone versus Call of Duty. Call of Duty will continue to sell like massive, massive hotcakes and it'll just continue to earn serious money, right? You look at Wukong that came out. They sold 10 million copies for basically you know, a game that's a single player game, there's no real microtransactions online in it, and they sold 10 million copies. People will pay and buy a career mode that's fun to play, even if they're not dedicated diehard football fans. If it's just a fun game to play, man, that's why I eventually are, you know, I got in, uh, eventually I got into NBA because of NBA 2K11. That's when I started to play it, then I started getting into NBA, and now it's probably my second favorite sport in the world to follow. I follow a team. I watch as many games as I can during the season. Um, yeah, editing teams and strips and editing players, that goes, you know, for a long-time editor like me, that goes without saying. I do miss edit mode. PES 2021 editing, obviously the boys are still working on files and stuff for that, but it's it. I want it for eFootball. Customizing celebrations, training mode, menu skins, emote features, the playing the stats, additional game plan features, nothing in particular. There is nothing else here apart from them three that I would go for. Compatibility for mobile, yes, but I don't play on mobile too much. Now, this is where they ask you to share your opinions about the game, right? Do not provide any, any personal information. I'm going to just talk about what I write here, um, and I am going to submit it, right? So give me two seconds. So lads, I have just written here, right? Passing lanes and interceptions need to be completely rebalanced. I don't want to make this video longer than 20 minutes. So it goes without saying, I think it's fairly self-explanatory. If you have played any bit of eFootball online and Dream Team online, you will know what I'm talking about. Honestly, the passing lanes and interceptions at the moment, every single ball, unless you play the, the easy one-touch pass to kind of like re- um, kind of like really take the opponent out of their shape, right? Unless you play a certain long ball counter or quick counter type of play and let the AI do the runs for you and you just pick and pop. You can't play possession, man. You can play possession, but it requires you to play the game in a different way that feels natural, if that makes sense. 
I will do a video on that quite soon. Um, but it just needs to be toned down. Every, every pass that you hit, there seems to be, no matter what pass assist that you use, it seems to be that it's interceptable unless you completely cut the angle. And completely cutting the angle means that you have to do a lot of, you know, turning your back to the opponent to dribble. It means that you have to kind of keep the ball in an unnatural, non-organic way. You can do it, but it's not enjoyable. You know what I mean? Who wants to turn and like ride the shoulder of the defender five, six times every dribble just so you don't get the ball blocked? It's not, it, it just, it, it makes no sense. The AI assistant needs to be toned down again. I'm going to bring that into the video with that and show you a block that, yeah, I'm just going to show you the auto defending. It's it needs to be toned down. Shoulder charges and persistent deliberate fouling needs to be punished properly. And I also talk about the UI a master league or some career mode. But edit mode needs to come. Listen, we could fill out literally five six boxes here of of stuff, right? But let me know what you guys are thinking. That is the survey. I will drop it in the link below. Let me know what you guys think, right? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Are you going to fill it out? Do you have any hope for eFootball twenty five? Are you just done? Are you going to be giving UFL and EAFC a go? Let me know what you guys think. It's a long video. It's a kind of a, a non-usual um, video from, from us. But let me know what you guys think. And I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to smash that uh, subscribe button. We're on the road to 50k, baby. And I'll talk to you soon.